guys, it's Thursday morning. It's a rainy day, it's drizzling right now. And I'm, I'm outside the Goodwill bins. So we're gonna make a run through here and then we're gonna go to the other thrift store and then we'll see what goes on. I still got a couple things going out today. I'll show you those a little later on in the video. I'll mix it up a little today. Kind of quiet in here today. Not too bad. I already got a bag and a radio I have to look up. Got a stain on it, but if I could get that out, I never heard of a brand that's like Swedish or something. I put the most random things in these bins. Like there's like housewares and so forth. And then there's a motorcycle tire. It's crazy. More Nerf guns. I love the Nerf, let me look it up. How cool is this vintage leather jacket with the waist strap? It's all stained and it smells like smoke, but cool style. Definitely like 70s. All right, it's not too bad in here today. I got a pretty good sweat shirt, a hooded sweatshirt, and a bag that I'm taking that chance on with a stain. Hopefully it comes out. So I'm gonna look at a little more clothes and I'm gonna get out of here. All right, it is dead quiet in here. The workers went on break. So I'm gonna head out and go to the next place. All right, I'm all done here. Wasn't too bad in there today. Probably about 25 people. Some of the regulars that I see weren't there. Got one bag, one sweatshirt. I'll show you everything later. And I'm gonna head to the other store because it's Senior Citizen Discount Day. All right, I'm at the next spot. Luckily that rain passed, that was pouring. Couldn't even see when I was driving. So let's go see what they got any goodies in here. And um, hopefully I'll get the discount. If not, no worries. I'm gonna shop as if I'm not getting it. All right, I immediately scored in the bag department already. I'm only halfway looking through and I got two good bags. A Timbuktu and an Oakley. Serious vintage leather bag right there. That's pretty cool. Here's a pretty cool bag. It's leather and then like a material, like a cloth made in Turkey, but it's kind of really damaged on the end. So I got a pass, 25 bucks, that's cool, too bad. There's an old game, turntable Tripoli. Hey Mr. Dennis, how are you? Very good. All right, I'm checking out this Timbuktu bag, I'm trying to look it up. All right. Can't complain about a Timbuktu messenger bag for $3. In the book section, they always have old sheet music. I know nothing about it. I'm sure something is probably of value. Usually this is full. Someone must have bought a lot of it. Just check the eyeglass rack. Nothing going on today. All right, I'm done in there. I was getting a little frustrated. Senior citizen day. There's a lot of old people just wandering around clueless. I was the youngest old person in there. And here's my receipt. I got the discount. And things were cheap. I got two bags and like some kind of sewing art thing that has some good comps. But the bags, I got that one Timbuktu bag. It was only marked $3 and it had another one that was marked 12 so maybe it was mismarked, but hey, I don't care. So the two bags and the sewing thing only came out to $9. I got that discount of three bucks, so $6, not bad. So at least now I know, I come here every Thursday, you know? That's how you set your patterns. Find out what days are specials, what days are good inventory days, what days are maybe not crowded. So I come here Thursdays now because I get the senior discount. Hope that doesn't mean I have to start eating dinner like at 4.30 and going to bed at eight. Anyway, I'm gonna stop at the post office and then I'm going home. timing I literally just came in the house put all my stuff down and it started pouring again all right so I'm home in case you're wondering when that's on my throat that's a microphone it's not plugged in right now but when I'm in the stores I don't have to be like talking on the phone as I'm recording like this I can hold the phone out away from me record things and speak at a normal tone and it gets a good volume maybe I should make a video about what kind of adapter and everything you need let me show you things I got today okay so at the bins I only got two items I got this bag, it's kind of like a, like a nylon canvas almost, I don't know. And it has nice leather, these are real leather straps. And on the other side, it's 
It's got this fox. And it's got these black stains. I'm hoping, let me see. I'm hoping they come out. I'll hit it with some OxyClean. But this is like a good washable material. And I showed you the brand. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Fizil Raven or Nicholas the Devic. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I don't know. That's Denmark, Sweden, whatever. So I got that bag. And I also got this black hoodie, NFL team apparel, San Francisco 49ers logo, center chest, front pockets. It's got lint on it from the bins. I don't think this has ever been worn or washed because it's got, you know, you could tell there's no pilling. It's very smooth. Now let me show you the back. This, the back has an awesome graphic on it. Check out the back. It's awesome. Full length, almost to the very bottom of the sweatshirt. Yeah, I don't think this has ever been worn or washed. The print is amazing. It's perfect. So that's pretty cool. And the 49ers are one of the best teams in NFL this year. So this should sell pretty good. I'm hoping quickly. And those two items were, I think it came out to like $4 and change. Because it was two pounds. And in the bag section, I always do good with bags there. Got this Tim book too I showed you in the video. Black with gray and red. Messenger bags. Got a nice heavy duty strap. Cell phone pouch or whatever on the strap. The only flaw, I mean it's got some staining on it. But this stuff washes up. It's from snagging on the Velcro. It's a little frayed, but I'll snip all that off. Good as new, there's no damage. And the inside has a padded compartment for a computer. Then it has like these attachable pouches. One there and one on the side. All right, I also grabbed this Oakley. It's like a travel bag with a shoulder strap. Inside has all the different pouches. On this side and on that side. And that was also three dollars and with a 33 percent off that makes it two bucks and then i saw this quilt magic thing no so wall hanging kit of a butterfly and i scanned the barcode it's sealed new and it has comp for like 30 bucks so it was more three dollars now would make it two dollars also all right so that's not too bad i spent nine dollars in change that one swedish bag had comps i couldn't find the exact one i gotta look better but that brand and similar bags had comps to use are like 40 50 bucks so i call it even if i get 35 the hoodie's probably a 30 dollar hoodie the other bags even if i get 20 a piece you know i'm up towards a hundred dollars profit today so not bad let me show you something because the other day i found if you watch my other video i found a prada shirt at the bins and i wasn't sure if it was real but at the bins you know it's like 50 cents so i just took it and when i came home i got an internet and i looked up some information and it checks out as far as i can tell as being real so let me show you what I learned so it's like a pass on that knowledge and maybe you know if you come across something you could see now it doesn't pertain to their bags I guess there's different things to look for on the bags but this is for product clothing and if you do know anything else besides what I say please put it in the comments below to help me learn better all right so here's what I've learned about product clothing it's only what I got off the internet so I'm no expert but one the zipper let me show you the zipper on it it says Prada Milano I call it a kettlebell because shaped like it has the, the loop and then it's on like a triangle shape on the bottom right there. The tag should not be in the collar. So there be should nothing in the back of the collar. Nothing there at all. The, the materials tag and the size tag should be down in the bottom, you know, where a lot of material tags are on the inside the seam. So the material tag and the size tag should be down there. That's what it says. And it should be side by side, not one on top of the other. On the materials tag, the materials tag, made in Italy, all capital letters. Okay, that's another thing. And then, of course, the stitching, on like any kind of product, look at the stitching, like this kind of has, along the bottom seam, has like a zigzag stitch, and you wanna look for consistency. You don't want them to be all the same size and length, not jagged in one different than the other. And then the last thing, the red tag. This one is on the sleeve. It's kind of like a, I don't know if it's leather or vinyl, but it says Prada on it and it's embossed. It should all be the same color. If you see one that has, and the Prada is sideways up, you know, is it showing up? Yeah. Okay. If the letters are going like downwards, then that's no good. And if the letters have white inside, like it's color filled, uh-uh. It just it should be embossed, stamped like that. 
and then the P should be towards the bottom. See the prod is at the bottom of the sleeve. If the P is at the top going down, they said it was no good. So that's what I've learned. If anybody knows anything else, or if you think this is fake from what you just saw, hey, I don't care, I'm not gonna hurt my feelings. It's 50 cents. But how could you pass on it for 50 cents at the bins, you know, it goes by weight. This is a very lightweight piece. So let me know if you know anything more down below. All right, and like I said earlier, I only had two packages go out today, but that's fine, that's, that's you know, it all averages out to decent days. So two items, the first one is gonna be another Nerf magazine from the bins, so maybe, I bought a whole bunch of them that day. I think I bought like 12 or something, and it was a few bucks, so let's call it 50 cents. And it sold for $9.95, free shipping. Here's the, the picture. And the other item is another Norelco shaver, SW175. It's a wet dry shaver. I think I just showed one of these a couple of days ago I sold one. Maybe it was a week ago. But I picked up three for $6 each, and they're selling, I think it was 45 So on the shaver, I net $30 after everything. And on that Nerf magazine, probably like $4 I'm netting. So even if I made 30, even if I had $30 today, but $30 a day, 30 days in a month, that's 900 bucks in a month net. All right, so that's gonna wrap up today, Thursday. Quick little run. Maybe I'll make 100 bucks off of what I got, you know, when they do eventually sell. Two more days of this straight week of video. And it's Saturday, pretty exciting. They're doing the Toys for Tots um, exotic car rally. It goes by two blocks from my house. Ferraris, Lamborghinis, um, Bugattis, like the sickest cars, McLarens. A lot of people, if you live in the middle of the country or wherever, you might never even see cars like this. And down here in South Florida, it's common occurrence. I'll be driving down the street and a Lamborghini will go by, Ferraris. Matter of fact, right across the street from my son's high school, two miles from me, there's a Ferrari dealership and they donate toys and they get to drive in their rally. It's crazy. I go down every year and I photo, you know, I do video. So I'm gonna video it and I'll put it out maybe Saturday or Sunday. It's for like 15 minutes, just the most exotic cars you've ever seen going by. So watch for that video, it'll be in a couple days. So I appreciate you watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.